Greg Bird mentioned the idea that I said that anything at all can be a way to talk about everything else. You know, if I had to talk about this podium, it's, it's some kind of plastic laminate with wood grain on it over probably that stuff they make with sawdust and formaldehyde and peanut shells uh, underneath it. And there always has to be a seal. Educational institutions have seals. It always goes back to heraldry, when uh, middle class people wanted to say, oh, well, I'm descended from warriors who were very important to the king. We killed people on behalf of the king, and we had shields. It became completely you know, removed from actual killing and having a shield, but it became how you show you're really important. It was the equivalent of having a, a really impressive escalade or something. Uh, and you could write a blah, blah, blah. The poem. So it's not that um, podiums or seals or any of that is inherently great and important. It's just that almost anything you begin thinking about its history, and after a while you've got the whole history of the universe. You've got the history of the great tortoise on which the universe sits. Shirt. Shirt. The back, the yoke, the yardage, lapped seams, the nearly invisible stitches along the collar turned in a sweatshop by Koreans or Malaysians gossiping over tea and noodles on their break, or talking money or politics while one fitted this arm piece with its overseam to the band of cuff I button at my wrist, the presser, the cutter, the ringer, the mangle, the needle, the union, the treadle, the bobbin, the code, the infamous blaze at the Triangle Factory in 1911. 146 died in the flames on the ninth floor. No hydrants, no fire escapes. The witness in a building across the street who watched how a young man helped the girl to step up to the windowsill, then held her out away from the masonry wall and let her drop, and then another, as if he were helping them up to enter a streetcar and not eternity. A third, before he dropped her, put her arms around his neck and kissed him. Then he held her into space and dropped her. Almost at once, he stepped to the sill himself. Air and his jacket flared and fluttered up from his shirt as he came down, air filling up the legs of his gray trousers, like Hart Crane's bedlamite, shrill shirt ballooning. Wonderful how the pattern matches perfectly across the placket and over the twin bar tacked corners of both pockets like a strict rhyme or a major chord. Prints, plaids, checks, houndstooth, tattersall, madras, the clan tartans invented by mill owners, inspired by the hoax of Ashen to control their savage Scottish workers came by a fabricated heraldry. McGregor, Bailey, McMartin. The kilt devised for workers to wear among the dusty, clattering looms. Weavers, carters, spinners. The loader, the docker, the navvy, the planter, the picker, the sorter sweating at her machine in a litter of cotton as slaves in head rags sweated in fields. George Herbert, your descendant is a black lady in South Carolina. She inspected my shirt. Its color and fit and feel and its clean smell have satisfied both her and me. We have culled its cost and quality down to the buttons of simulated bone. The button holes, the sizing, the facing, the characters printed in black on neckband and tail, the shape, the label, the labor, the color, the shade, the shirt. 
Thank you all very much.